All right, so let me just jump right in and show you exactly how Birthday Wisher works. The very first thing you're going to do is you're just going to add it to the Chrome. You're going to add it to Chrome. It is a Google Chrome extension, so you're just going to actually add it to Chrome. Once it gets added to Chrome, all you're going to do, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Once it gets added to Chrome, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and log in. So I'm going to do that. Just going to use your username and password. You should have been sent an email with a username and password as soon as you signed up. So you're going to go ahead and log in. Now, once you get logged in, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your settings. Now, before we go to your settings, I'm just going to look and show you real quick on Birthday Wisher. You can see that you have the settings to essentially make a post. And if you choose make post, what's that, what that's going to do is it's literally going to post on somebody's wall for their birthday. So it's going to go and whatever post that you put, it's literally going to post on their wall. All right, um, send message will do exactly what it sounds like it will do. It will literally send a message through Messenger. Now you can turn one or the other of these on, or you can turn them both on at the same time. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to go to my settings and I'm gonna go to my post. And actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sign out and then I'm gonna sign back in. Okay, so I'm going to sign back in. Uh, go to my settings. I'm actually going to delete these posts real quick and just create them from scratch. Just going to create everything from scratch just to show you how everything works. All right. So, first, I'm going to create everything from scratch. So I'm going to create a new post and it's going to be called happy birthday one. And it's just going to say, hey, I'm going to tag the person, whatever their name is. Uh, happy birthday. Would love to know your on this wonderful. And I'm gonna put in today. All right, so this is my first post. It just says, hey, whatever the person's name is, happy birthday. Hope it's a great one for you. Would love to know your plans on this wonderful today. So we've got these keywords here where you can use tag person. That's literally just going to tag the person. It's gonna put in their name. And then you can use today and that's going to just insert the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. So I'm gonna save post. Now I'm gonna create one more post just for this demo to show you. It's gonna be called happy birthday. Two, and that's going to say um, tag person, happy fucking birthday. So that's going to be my second post. So now I'm going to go over to my messages. Now inside the messages, what we do is we use something called a spin tax. So that spin tax allows you to basically um, have messages that give the same message. They just use different words so that you don't get flagged by Facebook for sending the exact same message over and over and over again. So basically you create message groups and inside those message groups, you can build your messages and you can create them from message segments. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create some message segments. The first one's gonna be greeting. The first one is just gonna be a greeting and it's just going to say something like, hi, first name, and I'm gonna add that. And then I'm going to create another one that's going to say something like, hey, first name, and I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to create another one that says something like, hello, first name, and I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to save that. Now I have that greeting. I'm going to create another one that says, happy birthday. And then I'm just going to say, just wanted to wish you a happy fucking birthday. And then question mark, and then I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to add another one that says, just wanted to say happy birthday. And then I'm going to add that and I'm going to save that. 
right? Now I can continue going on and I will continue going on for myself, but for the purposes of this demo, just to show you how everything works, this has been enough here. So now I'm gonna go create a group and this group is going to be called happy birthday one. I'm just gonna call it happy birthday one. I'm gonna enter those message segments that I just created. Here's a greeting that I just created. And here's my happy birthday that I just created. I'm gonna hit add and then I'm going to save this. All right. So now I've got my message group set up. I've got my post set up. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna enable birthday wisher. I'm basically gonna turn on make a post. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna enable sending a message and I'm gonna pick the message group happy birthday one. This is the message group that I literally just created a second ago. And then I'm going to select my interval. How often do I want to do this once I once I do it? And I'm only going to do this every 24 hours. But this is basically this interval is how long do you want to wait in between each post and in between each message? So um, it would be good for you to pick something like three minutes or four minutes or five minutes. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to pick 15 seconds just to show you how this works. I would not recommend that you pick 15 seconds. I would recommend that you pick um, two minutes or more, but it's up to you what you pick. Uh, for this demo, I'm gonna pick 15 seconds and then I'm just gonna hit save. And now you'll see happy birthday wisher start doing its job. So now you'll see the software actually go in and start doing its job it's going to actually start doing its job and it's going to go in it's going to post on people's birthday it's going to post them as you can see it's posting on gary's birthday right now it just posted on his birthday and it's also going to go in and send him a message so if you're seeing it just went in and sent him a message so there went gary i just actually went so i'll, I'll show you gary real quick as you can see here's gary now you can see, I just literally instantly sent him a message. Hey, Gary, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Now it's going to the next person and it's going to the next person automatically. And it will do this every single day. Everybody on my friends list has a birthday. It will go in every single day and it will automatically send my birthday wishes for me. It will post on their wall, happy birthday. If they allow me to post on their wall and it will send a message automatically if I enable that. So. I need to enable these things. I need to enable if I want it to post on walls. I need to enable if I want it to send messaging. Once I enable that, it will literally go out all day, every day. Well, not all day, every day, sorry. It will go out once a day. I know it will go out once a day and it will wish everybody who has a birthday that day, it will wish them happy birthday. So that is what this software does right now. We've got some cool stuff coming up in the next version. So now let me just show you the results of it. As you can see, uh, it has actually went out and sent messages to these three people. These are the only people that actually have birthdays today on my friends list. So I could go to events here. And I can show you just by looking at birthdays. You'll see just by me looking at my events and my birthdays, the actual people, only these three people right here have birthdays today. And you can see it says, I wrote on Bill Duncan's timeline. I wrote on Gary Cassidy's timeline. I sent them all birthday wishes. As you can see, I sent all three of them a message, happy birthday automatically. And I also wrote on their timeline. So you can see, hey, here I've actually wrote on his timeline. That was done automatically. And if I come over here to Bill Duncan, you'll see that I've also written on his timeline. See, I've written already on his timeline. All done automatically, all done by Birthday Wisher automatically on autopilot.